Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today we're gonna take a look at the latest and greatest new functionality that's landing in Microsoft Teams. For instance, we're gonna look at together mode and how you can all come together in a virtual location instead of being stuck in your separate webcam boxes. We're gonna look at things like focus mode so you're not distracted by other people in your meeting and what they might be doing on their webcam and instead you're focused on the content at hand. Those are just a few of the new features and functionality that we're gonna look at. Uh, we're going to jump on the PC and first off I'll show you how you could turn this new functionality on. Once we turn it on I'll show you how you could use these different features and how they work. All right well enough of me talking let's jump on the PC and check it out. Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams open. Today I'm using the desktop client and this is where I'm gonna show you the latest and greatest new functionality. Now first off, how do you turn on the latest and greatest features in Microsoft Teams? Well, what we're gonna do is when you're in Teams, let's go up to the top right hand corner and under the people profile view here right now, I just see KS, I'm gonna click on this and then we're gonna go down the list to settings. Click on settings and this will open up the settings pane and within the general view of settings, right towards the bottom of the initial view, you'll see a checkbox that says turn on new meeting experience. New meetings and calls will open in separate windows. Now that's just one of the new features that we're gonna get and then it re requires restarting Teams. Now I've already checked this box, I've already restarted Teams, but if you haven't done that, feel free to go ahead and do it. If you don't have this checkbox yet, it may mean that you're on an older version version of Teams and you're gonna have to wait to get the latest and greatest version. However, if this is an option, go ahead and check it and then you could follow along with this tutorial. Now I wanna demonstrate what some of the new functionality is, so why don't we just jump right into it and on my calendar I have one meeting coming up tomorrow. I'm gonna to go ahead and click into this meeting. And so here I see all the standard meeting details and let's go ahead and join the meeting. Now, one of the things, I don't know if you noticed this, but in the past, anytime you joined a meeting, it would join within the Teams window. Here I have an example where of the old version of Teams where it joined in the same window. Now though, within Microsoft Teams, I get a separate window for the meeting. Uh, so let's go ahead and join. The nice thing about this is when I join the meeting now, let's say I wanna multitask in Teams, so maybe I wanna click into my chat view, maybe I wanna click into the Teams view while a meeting is ongoing. Because Teams now opens in a separate window, I can multitask more easily. So that's a pretty nice new feature that recently came out. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but in the past when you wanted to click on the different meeting controls, so for instance, you wanna see the participant view, you wanna see the chat view, you wanna raise your hand, you'd have to hover your mouse over this area with all the meeting attendees and you'd get an overlay that appears here with all of the different controls. Now what Teams has done is rather than having an overlay up here in the top right hand corner, I now have all the different controls docked for easier access. Now I always found it somewhat annoying to have to hover to get the controls to appear and then it would sit over the content. The, the, the nice thing now is this doesn't interfere with the content. I don't have to hover my mouse to get all these different controls it's much more easily accessible. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do is we see here in this meeting, I'm gonna click on show participants. We currently have a number of people in this meeting. Yes, my YouTube business has been growing quite a bit. I've been able to bring on some extra hands. Let me go ahead and for a moment, I'm gonna turn on my video here. So there you see me and I'm gonna ask, let's see if maybe Adele and Alex can turn on their video as well. Can you please turn it on everyone? Whoa. Uh, there we see that Adele and Alex, it's actually a mirage. The Kevin YouTube channel is much smaller than you'd think and it really is just me. This is a one person operation. Uh, but what I've done is I'm just gonna pretend to be Alex, I'm gonna pretend to be Adele and I'm really gonna be Kevin. So here you see uh, three different participants uh, in the meeting right now. And what I wanna show you is a new feature that's coming out called Together Mode. Now right now you see that each uh, video within this view is in its own separate box. So here you see kind of a separate box that appears. I What I wanna have happen is I want us to feel more together. Uh, so let's pull up together mode. Now it's so what I'm gonna do is let's click on the ellipses up here on top and then I'm gonna go down to the option that says together mode. And when I click on that, what this will do is this will pull us into one virtual location. So there I see myself three times. Now obviously 
Uh, this is just a unique example because I am three different people. Uh, but what you would see is you would have each person in their own seat within a large lecture hall. Now this is a fairly small group. I only have three people with video on. Uh, but you can imagine, let's say you had 20 or 30 people uh, in this uh, with their video turned on. You'd see a large lecture hall with everyone sitting within it. Uh, and Microsoft has done a whole bunch of research where they found that you actually feel closer to other people if virtually you're sitting in one location versus in your own kind of small box off to the side. Right now, this view shows a lecture hall. In the future, Microsoft promises, and we actually just lost one of our attendees, um, but Microsoft promises that additional backgrounds for together mode will be coming out. And so you'll likely then be able to choose which background you want to apply. There's an, even, an, even an interesting one with the MBA that Microsoft's currently talking about where it'll be on a basketball court. The MBA uses Microsoft Teams to stay, stay in sync uh, between the different teams that are part of the league. Well, that's together mode. I'm gonna click on the ellipses menu again. There's also another option now called the large gallery. Now, it's a very simple idea. With the standard gallery, you could see up to nine people. With the large gallery, they promise that you could see up to 49 people. Now, with the gallery, to be able to use a large gallery, you need at least 10 people in a meeting. And I don't have enough devices in my house to test this out. But trust me that if I click on large gallery, I'll then see a massive grid on my screen of up to 49 different people. Uh, so that'll typically take care of most meeting sizes. Let's say you're a teacher with 30 people in your class. That'll easily handle it uh, with 49. I've turned off all the videos and I wanna show you some additional new functionality that has come out. When I click on the ellipses, I can now click on show meeting notes. In the past, when I clicked on show meeting notes, it would appear as a pane on the right-hand side of the meeting. Now, when I click on meeting notes, what this does is this drops me directly in Teams within a dedicated meeting notes view. I could access this before, during, or after the meeting, and so can all of my other attendees. So it's nice now that it's in a separate window and I could separate the meeting activities from the note activities. And once again, it makes multitasking easier. The last thing that I wanna show is focus mode. And this is a very nice one. And for this, I'm gonna turn on the video again. Let's go ahead and share some content. And I have this beautiful uh, basic template that I'm gonna pull up here. So I have this PowerPoint slide. And here now you see the PowerPoint slide appear on the screen. Now, one thing that's difficult is I see all these people on the bottom. And if the videos were turned on, I'd also see the video down there. And that can be distracting from, f distracting from focusing on the content that appears here on the screen. So what I can do is rather than being distracted, I can go ahead and turn on focus mode. To turn on focus mode, I'm gonna click on the ellipses and I'm gonna click on focus. And when I do that, you see that the box is down at the bottom with people's video and their names, that disappears. So now my focus is entirely on the content here. Essentially, it turns off people's videos. And let's say I'm done with my presentation now. I could click on the ellipses again for more actions. Click on focus again and that'll now turn people's video back on. The last new feature that recently came out with Teams meetings, if I go to the top right hand corner, as the organizer, I have the ability to leave the meeting. I've always been able to do that, but then other people might stick behind in the meeting. Now what I could do is there's a new drop down over here and I could choose to end the meeting. By ending the meeting, this will end the meeting for everyone and everyone will be kicked out of the meeting. You could imagine for let's say an education scenario and you're a teacher and you don't want your students hanging out afterwards and continuing on with different private conversations. Instead, you could end the meeting for all and that will boot everyone out of the meeting. All right, well that was a quick look at some of the new meeting functionality that's coming out to Microsoft Teams. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. That's how I build my list of videos to create. All right, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.